Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. We have with us Shiromani Akali Dal senior leader Mr. Nareesh Gujral. Mr. Gujral, Sushma Swaraj addressed an all all party meeting of which you were also a part. What were the details that were shared with every member of the meeting? The main point that she raised was that this was an anti-terror operation and not a military operation. India wants to live in peace, but at the same time, we will not allow a proxy war to be fought on our soil. The recent happening in but Jammu and Kashmir has created anguish in the minds of our countrymen, and naturally, all political leaders expressed that anguish, and there is anger in the country. But were there some details about the airstrikes, like the timings and uh, how many? They, Mrs. Suraj, told us that they had credible information. Our security agencies had information that almost 300 trainers and trainees of these terror groups were present uh, on the site where, the, 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 site were where the bombs were dropped this morning. It was a very successful operation. And we, how long was the operation? Were there is details no, they, shared? We were not given those details, uh, nor I mean, these are, no one uh, asked these are obviously the, these are uh, state secrets which, which are it is not right for uh, parties to ask. But we were assured by the government that all our agencies, whether it's the intelligence agencies or our uh, forces, they are on high alert and they will ensure that the kind of incident that took place earlier is not repeated. At the same time, we will, we want to send a message that we will strike these terrorist organizations wherever they are. So there were also opposition members present in the meeting. Uh, there must be some concerns that they have raised. Obviously, you come from a state that has seen terrorism. You must have also raised some concern. What were the concerns that were shared with the government? I raised an issue that this whole thing started from Punjab in the 80s. For a decade and a half, Punjab bore the brunt of this proxy war. Even earlier, a few years ago, you saw how these terrorist organizations from Pathan Court, uh, they started. And there is a fear that since our security forces are on high alert and are present in very high numbers in Jammu and Kashmir, that Pakistan may like to shift the arena towards Punjab. So I requested them that kindly ensure that this time there is better coordination between the security agencies at the center and the state. And any help that the state asks for should be provided immediately. At the same time, we have seen that a lot of support to these terror organizations come from the so-called Khalistanis in Canada, in the US and other countries. So I requested the Honorable Minister to speak to our ambassadors and high commissioners that they should make a request to those countries that the activities of such uh, terrorists are curtailed and that money flow to our country is stopped. So did Congress also raise some concern or they were just quiet? No, everybody supported the government. Mr. Sitaram Yachuri of CPM did raise one issue and his issue was that when we are go passing through such troubled times in the in the valley and uh, Jammu and Kashmir, do not raise any other issue like 35A or 70, 370, which can create further problems there or can uh, break our unity uh, at this juncture. Okay, but do you see that, uh, you know, there would be people are expecting that Pakistan would also take a retaliatory step. Do you think that this would kind of start some vicious circle of attack and retaliation or do you think that this would put a pause to the terrorism? Well, that is, I, I am no astrologer. That is very difficult to predict. But the heartening fact is that our forces are on high alert, they are prepared, the country is willing to pay any price to fight this proxy war and I am sure 
we will come out victorious. So this was Mr. Gujral who thinks that everyone is with the government for a change on a topic that concerns national security. For the print, Pragya Kaushik.